The reserves, the gentleman from Missouri is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield three minutes to the subcommittee chairman of the Work and Welfare Committee, Mr. LaHood from Illinois. Gentleman is recognized for three minutes. Uh, thank you, Chairman Smith. Uh, today, Republicans are following through on our promise to the American people last fall, our commitment to a government that is accountable. I rise in strong support of H.R. 1163. This long-awaited bill is needed to address the unprecedented levels of fraud in pandemic unemployment programs. Every dollar going to fraud is a dollar that did not go to those who actually needed it. My home state of Illinois paid out nearly $2 billion in federal funds for fraudulent unemployment claims, nearly half of the money paid out by the state. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to submit for the record an audit by the State of Illinois Department of Economic Security from June 2020. Those fraudsters acted with intent and malice and diverted critical relief for unemployed workers. Early on in the pandemic, multiple red flags were raised by law enforcement agencies about the threat of fraudsters using stolen identities to file false unemployment claims. The U.S. Secret Service raised the first alarm, issuing an alert memo in May of 2020 warning of a well-organized Nigerian crime ring exploiting COVID-19 crisis, crisis to commit large-scale fraud against state unemployment insurance programs. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I'd additionally like to submit for the record that memo from the U.S. Secret Service. Without objection. The public needed to know what was happening to these funds, yet not a single oversight hearing was held at the time. Democrats turned a blind eye to fraud and rejected Republican efforts to stop it. While considering the American Rescue Act in committee, Democrats rejected Republican amendments that would have stopped the, quote, pay and chase model of benefit delivery. In September of 2022, Democrats voted against a resolution of inquiry demanding communications showing the Department of Labor had knowledge of unemployment insurance dollars flowing to international crime syndicates. Now, today, Republicans are taking action. We will not turn our backs and walk away from the greatest theft of taxpayer dollars in American history. Currently, state workforce agencies have little incentive to pursue costly investigations and prosecu prosecutions that do not pay out. This bill here today, H.R. 1163, will jumpstart efforts to recover what we can by making the juice worth the squeeze. For states still working through a backlog of suspicious unemployment claims and appeals, the number of individuals or entities facing UI fraud-related charges has grown since March 2020 and will continue to increase as these cases take time to develop. Based on an analysis of the U.S. Department of Justice, from January 13, 2023, federal charges were pending against up to 240 individuals for attempting to defraud pandemic UI programs. States that take the initiative will be allowed to retain a portion of the recovered funds to prevent future fraud by using the recovery reward to improve program integrity, including higher investigators, and, and to go after criminals and modernize state systems. This bill, 30 seconds. 30 more seconds. Someone has 30 Mr. seconds. This bill allows a state to retain 5% of the recovered UI overpayments. This includes having common sense procedures in place like preventing UI benefit payments from going to incarcerated people uh, and deceased people. We have an opportunity today to gain some restitution for American taxpayers. I urge my colleagues to support H.R. 1163. And with that, I yield back. Gentlemen from